Now let's start this example by modeling the basement. With the background function on the right panel, I will select and visualize our ground floor. Then, as seen before, I will import also a DXF or DWG file to be used as reference. Again, I can use this corner in order to place the drawing in the correct position. And now I can start the modeling process by inserting my vertical envelopes. I will use again the magic wand to automatically recognize the wall of my building. Of course, I will need to import all the walls on my perimeter. And then I will turn off my ground floor from the background. Let's make some adjustment. For example here, and here I will also insert some apertures. On this wall I will insert the main door. And so from the beam object library, I will select an appropriate door typology. Now here, on the center, I will insert these two columns, which I can choose also from the beam object library. With the F7 key I will apply a rotation, and then just click on my drawing. And now I just have to insert my horizontal envelopes, which in this case will represent my foundation slab, and so I will choose a 50 cm thickness. Now let's insert the elevator object. From the visibility menu, I will hide all the selected objects. And so it's much easier to work with the two windows aligned. Now we'll insert the object, which in this case is a central hydraulics elevator. On the first box of the right panel, I will choose the number of landing stops. I can also choose the side of the entrance and the vertical dimension of the room. Of course I can change also the dimension of the cabin. And now from the 3D view, I will change the opening dimension accordingly to the door of the elevator. I can modify each aperture one by one, but I can also select all of them and change the dimension in one go from the properties panel. And then with this function, I will align all the entrants. Now as you can see from the 3D view, we need to adjust this part of the basement. So come back on the level, and change the perimeter of the slab. Then select these walls and copy and paste it to the foundation level. And here I will insert my new foundation slab. From the 3D view, I will make some adjustment to the elevation of the slab and also to the walls. Now let's focalize on the terrain modeling. First of all, I will need to define my terrain perimeter. I 
I can have a simple polyline or a rounded edge perimeter. Now to define the surface morphology, I will insert some contour lines. So the first one here will be minus 5 meters. Then I will have my zero elevation here. And also on the other side of my area, I will have another zero point close to this perimeter wall. And then on the other side of this wall, I will have another contour line with 3 meters and 30 centimeters elevation. Now let's open the project level. On this level I will start to insert all my earthworks, and to do so I will probably need to insert my foundation level as a background reference. And so this is my main earthwork. And from the 3D view, I will change its elevation. By using this cursor, I will light my terrain. And then I can use the green cone in order to align my earthwork level with the foundation slab. Now for the elevator room, I will insert another earthwork on the foundation level. Now I will change my background reference because I want to insert some object present on my ground floor. So let's insert this earthwork. And change its elevation accordingly to this lab. Then let's complete the earthwork operations by inserting this last one here. And now we can focalize in another step of the project and inserting other objects in a new project level. So I will start by inserting the ramp object and so select the proper object from the menu and enter the ramp editor. I can use some 2D graphics as reference to insert my ramp. For example here I have this two guideline that I can use to insert my round ramp. Then I can use the editing function and the snap node as well to modify my curved ramp. Then here I will need a straight ramp and so select the object from the menu, change its rotation angle and edit the dimension accordingly to the background. Same procedures also for this ramp. And 
and eventually add some landings. Now on the 3D view, we can make all the elevation adjustment. And so for example, this landing will be aligned with the slab. While this other one will be aligned with the terrain surface. Also on the side of the building, I will need to insert another ramp. And so again, enter the editor. Insert the ramp. And then these two landings. Then again from the 3D view. I will align this landing with the terrain surface. And on the other side, I will align the landing with the slab.